As you may have heard already, ChipHell.com have caused a storm across the internet. They have leaked the photos showing new 2025 Synology range, and it caused hundreds of comments, positive and negative, and mainly negative from users. So let's have a look at those new models. What's actually new? Is it worth your while, or is it just a waste of your time? So first on, they replaced their Rackman series NAS. So they used to have something called RS2821 RP+. This is a dual power supply NAS. It used to have Ryzen Wii 1500B quad-core CPU. Now they're replacing that with AMD Wii 1780B, which is much faster. So good news if you run virtual machines or Docker on this NAS. They also added 10 gigabit port on this NAS, so you don't need to anymore be limited with one gigabit slots because you used to have four one gig ports. So that's a lovely upgrade if you are looking for upgrading your old NAS. So let's move on to the next model, which is DS1825 XS Plus. They're replacing their DS1823 XS Plus, which used to have the same CPU and the same 10 gigabit slot. So people don't see what's actually new in this NAS. Maybe they'll be adding more RAM, but we don't know yet. Otherwise, there is a good thing that they are resetting the update cycle. Software updates will be now available for 10 years, starting from now on, on this new model. Because every model has this 10 year cycle for the updates. Otherwise, DS1823 XS Plus was already very good NAS with a good CPU, good RAM ECC, it didn't even need a replacement. And then there's 1821 Plus, which is also replaced now. It used to have AMD Wii 1500B CPU. They kept the CPU, but they added two 2.5 gig LAN ports, which is good news for those that need more LAN speed. But people that own an 8-bay, they are complaining because with 8 drives, 2.5 gig ports, even if you have two of them, is a bottleneck. You need a 10 gigabit connection. Some other people, liked a fact that they had four one gigabit ports so they could connect this NAS to different networks and create VLANs and things like that. Now they will have only two uh, ports, but at least they are faster. Okay, the next one up is their five bay and the four bay, DS1525 plus and DS925 plus. The previous models used to have R1600 AMD CPU which was dual core CPU. Now this upgrade with Wii 1500B. Good news if you were planning to run virtual machines, Docker and things like that. You also get 2.5 gigabit ports on these NASes. The previous DS1522 Plus uh, model didn't have 2.5 gig, but it did have four LAN ports. And people used to love this because they could also connect it to multiple networks and set up VLANs and things like that. But now you're gonna have 2.5 gig port on your DS1522 Plus and on your DS923 Plus. And there's also something what is removed actually from these models, and that's regarding PCIe. It used to have this M.2 slot at the back, Gen 3 X2 slot for 10 gigabit upgrade on your 723, 923 Plus and even 1522 Plus. Now this is removed, you cannot have 10 gigabit upgrade. So that made a lot of people upset because they could have 10 gigabits in a two bay, four bay or five bay but not anymore. Now you'll be limited to 2.5 gig, so it's kind of a downgrade. You get a faster CPU, but you get slower LAN connection. It's not great. And it's even worse, DS725 uh, has the same CPU. They didn't upgrade the CPU. They did upgrade from one gigabit to 2.5 gigabit, but they removed 10 gigabit upgrade. So people will be wondering, is there a point upgrading to DS725 Plus? There's also something that they changed across these three units, and it's expansion unit. Now you will need to be connecting through USB instead of eSATA. And some people are saying USB is not as reliable as eSATA. Okay, let's move on to their multimedia friendly range. So that's DS625 Slim. That's a long overdue NAS replacement. Their DS620 Slim is more than five years old, and it needed an upgrade, so they did. They replaced their J3000 series with J4000 series, so that's that's good. You can now handle 4K. And, and they also added 2.5 gigabit port at the back, but people are complaining because they used to have two one gigabit slots, and now they're gonna have one slot. Neither of these are good because this is SSD NAS, and you can get way more than 10 gigabit speeds 
and the fact that there is no 10 gigabit connection makes them disappointed because there is a bottleneck. Everything what Synology does is bottlenecking everywhere they can. Sometimes I'm questioning, do Synology even understand anything about bottlenecks? What's the point having a better hardware, but then saying you cannot use it? It's quite stupid. Okay, let's move on to last two models, which is 2Bay and 4Bay, DS225 Plus and 425 Plus. So that's replacement for the DS224 Plus and 423 Plus, which wasn't that old NAS, but you will see now one gigabit slots replaced with a single 2.5 gig slot. Nothing else has changed. Nothing else has been added. People have been asking to add NVMe slots on 2Bay model, DS225 Plus. Not gonna happen. If you need NVMe cache, you will need to get DS425 Plus. Overall, based on the comments, people don't see a point upgrading to 2.5 gig ports because you can achieve that with a single USB adapter. If you want to make an upgrade, just add 10 gigabit ports because with Wi-Fi 7, 2.5 gig makes no sense. You're way, way behind everyone else in the market. It's ancient. 2.5 gig is actually embarrassing, sorry. Your Wi-Fi is faster than your Ethernet connection. That's a joke. So we can finish up this video and uh, I'll mention the few things that I also added. This USB expansion, DX525 and RX1225 RP, which is redundant power supply uh, expansion. Then they also added a few more old DDR4 memories, ECC and non-ECC, ancient. Big boys are not talking about PCIe 6. Sorry, guys. So they're also mentioning new uh, NVMEs, SATA SSDs, SATA hard drives. So you're gonna see now 12 terabyte, 16 terabyte rebranded Seagate or Toshiba drives and Synology SATA SSDs. That's also rebranded Toshiba uh, SSDs and their own NVMEs that is also rebranded NVMe. So since they're talking about new hard drives, new SSDs, new NVMEs, people always are worried that when the day will come when they will not allow third-party drives to be used. Anyways, this is it. This is news. This is what's going to come out soon. I hope this was uh, helping you to decide if there's a point waiting for a new model or you should just get an older model and you'll be better off. If you want me to go more in details about specific NAS models, uh, do let me know. When more news come out, I'm going to be making some more videos. So follow the channel if you want to be notified. Otherwise, I'll see you next time.